The point is, you have to be responsible and accountable for every word you say. That is the preparation. And you and I are responsible for that. We take the blame for everything. If it came out bad, if we were destroyed, if we were wiped out, if we never even got, got off the floor, we got dropped by the first blow thrown, it was our fault. We didn't prepare. We weren't strong enough physically. The only way you're going to change it, the only way is to take full responsibility for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know of no other way. Anybody that tells you anything else is lying. Only you and you alone. I'm five, two and a half. I'm a short man. Considered small. Nondescript. I have to fight for my life out there for any attention, any quality, any respect. Every single moment, I have to earn it. But now I'm 80 years old, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm not here to win friends and influence people or impress anybody. I can't do that. I'm not going to do that anymore. But I do have to protect myself. I have to survive. I have to know when I'm outclassed and get the hell out. I have to understand that I'm very vulnerable physically because I'm crippled. Can't get my arms over my head. Look, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you right now so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't bullshit. I take my own heat. I take my own responsibility for everything. This is all I got. Look here. Look at this. That's as far as I can lift my arm. Look at this. I can't get it up higher than this. Look at this. I can't get my hand up higher than this. And I stretch it out. That's as far as I can go. Oh, you see that? This is what I got to work with. Now you understand. Oh, can't get my arms up. This is what I got to work with. So when I get out there, you know for sure that I'm very vulnerable. The dog jumps if it can knock me down. You know what that's like? Have you any idea what it's like to be that vulnerable? And yet I still have to represent myself. I still have to give an account of myself. I still have to speak my word. Say what I mean, mean what I say. With adamacy. And I have to present and defend my rights so I don't have any. Under a lot of pushback. I have to go out there and embrace my opponent. Like a Mark Levin, like a Ben Shapiro, the worst of the worst. And take my blows. And hold it. And hold it. And let him throw salt into those wounds. Fight back the best I can. And go home and do a sortie. A logical sortie. And a recreation of what happened. What did I say? What did I do? Where did I go wrong? Where did I make a mistake? Fortify. Come up with new strategies. New goals. New tactics. New things I have to do to improve my effectiveness and functionality out there. But I can only go so far, I'm an old man, one foot already in the grave. That's all. So that's why I keep a close vigil with my best friend in the world, Thanatos, the death instinct, my death. I hold converse with my death, with Thanatos, under the most egregious social situations possible. You do that on a park bench in New York City on a cold winter night with a hawk blowing through you, my friend. 20 miles an hour, the wind's blowing. It's very cold. The wind chill factor incredible. When it hits the bone, that's your pain. And you got a long night to go through. And that's where you ask yourself the questions. That's where you know who in the hell you are. You can't hide from the hawk. And if I get you out there on that park bench with me on a cold night, you can't hide from me either. I'll rip the mask right off you. I'll take Trump down there and sit him down on the bench. We'll see how long he'll take it before he starts singing like a canary bird. Then I'll take him to dinner with me at the city rescue mission. We'll see how he'll stand up there. They bench up arrow. O'Reilly, these pompous, bloated, bloviated fools. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable and nobody calls them to account. However, law of survival. Adopt, if that's what you want to do to survive. Adopt and mitigate. Change or get the hell out of there or destruction. Law of survival. Period. Put a period on that. That takes precedent over everything. That law of survival takes precedence over everything. However, Sandy Strong, strong on defense. You've got to get the mindset that overcomes that. This is the challenge. You've got to get the mindset that overcomes that and say to yourself, I'm going to get hurt real bad out there. You've got to say that. I'm going to get hurt real bad. You've got to challenge and get that fear of getting hurt out of your mind. I'm going to get hurt real bad. I may lose my life. I may lose uh, a lot. Broken bones. I may be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life as a result of this. Because when you fight out there, there's all kinds of obstacles around you. You don't know what your head's going to hit. The less you know, the less practical and realistic you are about who you are, your limitations, your vulnerabilities, the more dangerous the situation will be for you. Anybody that tells you different, he's lying. It's a pay-as-you-go world. Nobody has the time to listen to a law story. What's in it for me? So make a deal. How do I benefit by listening to you? You've got to get that across very quickly. Watch out for those favors. Watch out for those favors because they're very dangerous. Take my word for it. Those favors are very dangerous and they have to be paid back. I'm doing this favor for you, but someday soon I'm going to ask you for a favor, and I know you won't refuse me. I know it. Godfather, help me. I need help right now. I'm going to take care of this for you, but there'll come a time when I'm going to ask a favor, and I know you'll, you won't refuse me. That's how the favors are done. Whatever the favor is Godfather wants, doesn't matter, I know you won't refuse me. That's how it's done. The trade-off of favors. Ignorance is not bliss, my friend. Knowledge is power, clarity is power. Ignorance is never bliss. You can only run and hide so far, and, I, and you're talking to a man like me. I've spent a lifetime trying to figure out how I can run, how I can hide. I've spent a lifetime doing that. How I can assuage performance anxiety, the fear of it. I've gone from one bully boy to another bully boy to fix me up with the women. Put a word in for me. Help me. Give me a locker room story to uh, vicariously pretense participate in. I'm the man who ran through the streets of New York looking for pictures to set up my fantasy. That was before porno. That's in the late 50s, 60s. To get a vicarious pre pretense release. If you want to find talk to me. Talk to me, I know what the hell I'm talking about. Every word I say, I know what the hell I'm talking about or I wouldn't say it. I can back up every word I say with evidence and argument or I would not, never say it. You have to be very cautious out there. But if you're too cautious, you're going to lose. But you have to go for it. Now, it's a, it's a well-known fact I love to sing. I'm going to try again. I keep on trying. One day I'll get it right. I keep trying because I love to sing. The night is like a lovely tune Beware Beware my foolish heart How still That ever constant 
good mood. Take care, my foolish heart. There's a line between love and fascination that's hard to see on an evening like this. However, both bring the very same sensation when you're lost. Magic of a kiss, her lips, they're much too close to mine. Beware my foolish heart. What should our eager lips combine and let that fire start? This time it isn't fascination. Dream that will fade, fall apart. It's love, this time it's love. My foolish heart. Decide for yourself, my friend. There it is. They say I can't sing. They say I'm a broken down old man. I can't sing. I can't do this. I say bullshit. I say if I want to sing, I'm going to sing. If I want an evaluation of my voice, I'm going to go to a pro. I'm not going to go to listen to any bum out there and tell me whether I can. He doesn't know what to listen for. You have to watch the man you're talking to, watch his face, watch to see if there's mockery. He can't lie. Listen to me and listen good. Your opponent can't lie on every level. If you watch him closely like a fighter, get in that ring. First round, that feeling out process. You study your man. You're moving around. I want to see how he's going to, how he uses the distances, how he's going to move, how he positions his body. And yes, you want to get hit hard. I want to see, get it over with. See how hard this man can punch. Get it over with. Settle down. Size him up. You're supposedly a professional. You're supposed to be prepared for this. If you weren't prepared for this, then it would be the square jungle. Then it will be homicide in there. And remember one thing. Respect protocols, my friend. Respect protocols. Respect Power, know the power matrix, a hierarchy, respect that. Or you have you're gonna have a problem. And you have to understand if the evidence, if the argument, a preponderance of that goes against you, even if you think and you know you're right, you lost, you're wrong. Period. You have to accept the judgment. Even though you know you're right. But you are outclassed in there. Did you hear what your, your opponent made a better argument? Use the symbols better. Use rhetorical. Look at Trump. Trump's a good example of that. And he beat me on the cheap. And I let him beat me because I gave him information to beat me. By my posture. By the tone of my voice. By how I push back on him. He's watching all that. I'm talking about a bully boy. 13-year-old bully boy like Trump. And a bigger bully boy, the brains of Trump, Mark Levin. And a punk, a pure punk called Ben Shapiro. I've never seen a punk like this. You just backhand Ben Shapiro. This is a pure punk. It's a wannabe. It's a hideously stupid man who make, makes a mockery and a show of being educated. That's what I think of Ben Shapiro. Then you got your Tucker Carlson, the giggling idiot. You got all that radical right-wing trash out there. And trash they are. Trash they are. Never let anybody intimidate you. Never let anybody tell you who you are. Never let anybody discourage you. See what he's trying to do by mockery and ridicule. He's trying to get into, he's trying to get you to feel bad about it. If I can get you to be embarrassed, if I can get you to feel bad about your behavior, I got you. Never let anybody do it. Put some, oh, some hard bark on you, man. Get out there, put some hard bark on you. And don't let that happen. I'm going for another song. I love to sing. I'm going for another song. What do you think of that? I'll be seeing you in all the old 
familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through in that small cafe the park across the way children's carousel chestnut trees wishing well i'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's light and gay i'll always think of you that way i'll find you in the morning sun and when that night is new i'll be looking at the moon but i'll be seeing you decide for yourself my friend there it is decide for yourself